Welcome to the next Gantech video on version 6 of Space Invaders. In this video, we're going to talk about ammo cargo box. So last class and class together, we actually did this level of difficulty. If we scroll down, you can see I gave you the code here on the class page as well. We basically updated our bullet speeds for our missile to shoot. Uh, remember, we have our basic ship. In the future version, we're actually going to be able to purchase these ships. We also built this for our level, so we have 11 levels, and based on the level, the enemy ship will move a little bit faster for us to try to shoot. And we added this to our level setup. What we're working with today is this, our ammo cargo box. So we're going to have, let's go ahead and log in. So we're going to have this cargo box, this ML cargo box that I've given you. It's going to show up and go across the screen. But it's only going to show up whenever this ammunition gets down the two. Also on the screen, on this version, I've given you three sounds. A sound for when you hit the ammo cargo box. A sound for when you hit the ship as well. And you can see those are here. And a sound for when you reload. So you're going to need all of these. Files. Let's go ahead and download those. Let me, I'm going to basically, this is the reload sound. Turn this up. So anytime you hit that ammo cargo box, that's what's going to, you're going to hear that. This is your, when you hit the enemy ship. So if I hit enemy ship, that's what I'm going to hear. Here's my ammo cargo box. And then here is my reload sound. So I'm going to download all these. Let's save them. I'm going to save them to my desktop. I have my Space Invaders folder there. I'll save that. Save this as well. Save my hit ship sound, and then my last sound I need. Hit, hit reload ammo, and save that. Go ahead and close it. So, we're going to be working with this here, and you can see I've already opened it. I can open it again. We're basically going to walk you through this to add in our hero ammo box. So if I scroll down, you can see here's the files that I gave you. You also can download it from there. But adding in our image sprite. So I'm going to go ahead and delete this guy here. And let's add it back in. So simple image sprite. I'm going to go to my drawing animation, pull this over, I'm going to rename it, IMG SPR, ML Cargo, um, I'm sorry, IMG SPR Reload Ammo, I put it the uh, match, reload, ammo and also I want to match all these so heading is 0 height is 20 width is 65 so height is 20 pixels width is 65 pixels and then double check these rotates is checked speed is 0 then I have it 0 80 and 1. So the 
this is zero. This is 80. And this is one. And then I simply need to add in my picture. And it was in my Space Invaders folder on my desktop. Here we go, reload. I already have it apart. I'll go ahead and put it back in there. So there we go, we have that. Now, we also add it in these sounds. So we need to add another sound effect. We already have our shoot rocket, random sayings, but we're going to add in a another sound effect. Our shoot rocket is here. Let's say we're up. When we come down, you can see adding sound effects, S and D effects. Media. We rename it S and D effects. I think we're good to go with design. You can see we're going to have these three sounds. Hit the ship will sound when you hit the ship. Reload ammo anytime the ammunition is reloaded. Full reload anytime the player shakes the phone when the cargo box is shown. So I have these three. Reload will play anytime you take that. First thing we're going to do is code this guy. As you can see, it moves from the left of the screen to the right of the screen. It will reload the ammo if the user hits the hits it, or if the user shakes the phone. And the ammunition should it only should show up if the ammunition is less than two. So that's when this guy shows up. We already built in when the user shakes the phone, but we're giving them a bonus here. So we have show ammunition cargo. You can see what needs to be done. We need to show ammunition cargo. We need to move it to the edge of the screen. We need top quarter. Direction is heading, the speed, and then disable our bullet. So we have all these blocks. If the ammo box is not visible. So right now, and actually it is visible. So what that is saying, if it's not visible, then we want to show it. So you can't show it again. We're going to move it back to the edge. So let's go ahead and begin. Let's collapse the previous state codes. I'm going to put these over here and organize them a little bit. Add one more. And this is what we built in class to add the level difficulty. So now we're ready to go. And I want to keep the names consistent. I believe it's show ammunition cargo. So I'm going to go ahead and type that inside of here. And inside of here, we want to show that cargo box. So we can see all the things that we're doing. We're going to show the ammunition cargo. Set image, image, reload ammo, visible to. We need to. Re image sprite reload ammo heading which direction is going to the right we need to put it to the left edge so we need to set that X and you can see we're giving it enabled which means it can be hit by a bullet and then you can see we're giving it a speed of 10 and we're moving it a little bit so here, let's go ahead and add that stuff in. First thing I'm going to do is show our ammunition cargo box. And that's the name of the actual procedure. Go. 
next thing we want to do is give it a heading, give it an X direction, make sure it's enabled, and give it a speed. So all those come from ML Cargo Box. They're all properties blocks. Remember, properties box are green. So I'm going to give it a heading. I'm going to give it a set enabled. I'm going to give it a speed. So for heading, remember this is like the in math, the Cartesian plane. So heading zero means this way. Up is 90. Left. 180 down 270. Right now, if we click on our ammunition cargo box, you can see it's heading zero, so it is going to the right. But we're going to code it anyway. So heading should be zero. Enabled means can something else interact with it? And we do want the bullet to be able to interact with it. So heading going to be enabled is going to be true and for speed if something has a heading once you give it a speed it will start to move in that direction so we're going to give ours our ammo cargo box a speed of 10 and let's add in your comments for you so we got this it's going to be head let's say direction to move is right. Let's add this here. See this one, it enables our ammo cargo box to interact with other things, primarily our bullet. It could be hit. And then lastly, give it a speed. our show ammunition cargo box on the page it has this where we're going to divide the canvas height by four we actually don't need that anymore app inventor is relative pixels this was before you needed to so since we set the position here it's going to always be here which is currently at 80 it's always going to go directly across the screen um, it's going to be 80 pixels no matter if you're on a phone, a tablet, a, a huge tablet. It's always going to be at position 80 and go across the screen. So we finished that. Now this part is saying build and test your app. You always, when you add in code, you should build and test your app. So you can see only for testing, we want to add this to screen initialize. So I'm going to pull this out. We have our level set up in there. So I want to add in and see if my box actually shows up. I'll put my little comment in there as well. We're not resting for testing. Let's see if So at that point, I want you to go test it. So again, remember you're gonna come up to build, get a QR code. Remember this QR code is only good for two hours. That's because your APK file is saved 
on MIT server after two hours it basically gets erased but you can rebuild your QR code but go ahead take a break now and test your code on your phone or the class tablet you can see my code is all good to go here and my QR code should pop up shortly so pause the video and then go ahead and test your Space Invaders version 6 so far. There's my QR code to scan. What your version 6 should now do is that ammo cargo box we just added in this, it should show up and actually move. Here we go. This should move directly across to the right. Okay, welcome back. You should have tested this and this should be moving across. And now let's go ahead and complete version six. We're gonna have to hide it. And then we also have to implement only this should show up only when your ammo is less than two, less than or equal to two. So here you go, hiding the ammo cargo box. And basically, we're going to do the exact opposite of what we just did over here. So I'm going to pull this up some. We have a show ammo cargo, so let's create a procedure called hide ammo ammunition cargo. And then you can see I'm setting the visible enabled. I'm setting my X and my speed. Everything that I'm doing up here. So let's just keep it in the same order. I have that. I have my I need my speed. I need my enabled. Oops, I grabbed the wrong one. I need to set my enable nut, get it. And I have my heading. So if you look, actually I don't have my heading, I have my X value. The heading is going to stay the same. So this part you're going to do on your own should be kind of self-explanatory. And let's add in our comments so you can see hit hide the re-ammo box, disable the reload ammo box so that our bullet cannot hit it. So here we go. Code on your own. This is going to be disable ammo cargo box so our bullets can't hit it. Let's talk about this really quickly. So, when you enable and disable something, other things can interact with it. So, if I move this guy here and I make it invisible, let's just say like this. And I'm just playing hidden things. So if I made this invisible, when my bullet shoots, say my enemy was over here, and I'm shooting, 
because this bullet is still enabled, my bullet's going to hit it. So I need to make sure that I disable it when it's hidden. That way, if my bullet shoots, it'll simply go past through it. it. It doesn't interact with that. So that's why we have that part. The last part is code on your own. on your own you're going to so that's relatively simple so we have our procedure to show the ammo cargo box we have a procedure to hide it now here I disable this because this was just for testing. But we do, when the screen opens up, we do want to hide our ammo cargo box. I'm going to add that here. I could have just simply hit it on the front, which I did with changing my visibility, but I'm going to call it game launches hide the ammo cargo box. Very simple. The other time I want to hide it, let's look at the front. I'll turn this back on. So this guy is going to move across this way. When it gets here to our edge, we want to hide it, which hiding it basically makes it invisible, but it puts it right back here. So that's why we really made this procedure. So anytime we get to this edge, we want to put it back where it should go. So again, that's one of the events. Remember the events are brown. We've seen that one as well. The event we're dealing with is image sprite, ammo cargo, edge reached. So I'm going to come in here. Image sprite, reload ammo. You can see all my brown box here. Here's the one that I want my edge reached. And inside of there, I simply want to hide. Basically, you're putting it. So I'm going to zoom out a little bit. So we have that. So we're showing it and we're hiding it. Or we're actually just hiding it because this was for testing. So now we need to show it. And we're only going to show it when the ammo is less than or equal to 2. So you can see I also said build and test that you have works when it reaches that edge just like we tested it for here you want to test this functionality so when it comes across and reaches this edge it should go back now that part says delete that code I'm simply going to disable it you can see it right here from the screen I just want you to have tested that it works so first test it which means you would want to enable this then you would come up here to build and then once you're done you can simply go ahead and disable this all right so last part ammo cargo box reloading when the user takes the phone we have our accelerometer already. What we want to say is if and only if the ammo cargo bright is visible, then we want to shake, then we want to do something. 
or and that's only if it's visible so we have our accelerometer up here that we've built in the previous version and basically if they shake the phone we were giving them reloading it to six and updating the ammunition so we're going to update that so we have we built this before but now we want to add a condition we only want it to reload if the ammo cargo box is visible. So I'm going to go to a little control, grab my if condition, and I'm going to say if this guy is visible, so if my ammo cargo box is visible, that's the only time that I'm actually going to reload my ammunition. Let's add this in. So we kind of modify this by adding a condition that they only they can shake the phone only when this ammo cargo box is visible for them to actually get that. You can see I kind of got it there. Also, what we're doing is we're setting the sound effect now. We download that sound effect, but we wanted to do it. I already have these two set the global ammunition to the max, update the ammo pick. We did that in a previous version. So I need to add in this part, which is playing the sound effect. Or the hit reload then I need to hide it so if they shake the phone when it's currently visible I want to go ahead and set my sound effect source to a text box and so um, the sound I want I did not upload it so I need to <coughs> If hit reload ammo dot wave. So I'm gonna type that in here. Hit reload ammo dot wave. Then I want to play it. That sound effect. And the last thing I want to do is they actually the ammo is shown, so I want to hide it. So I'm gonna call. So this is what I added in. Set sound effect to hit ammo cargo. Now I'm going to play it. Makes sense. see on the class notes I did not give you that I didn't build it out but I'm giving to you in this video all right so ammo cargo box part four only showing up when it's less than two so what really needs to be done only need to show it when it's less than two hide the ammo cargo box at the start of each level so you can see we have our level setup we really need to add this in if ammunition cargo is less than or equal to two then we're going to call show ammo cargo box and also inside of our level setup 
we're going to do that. So we're adding this to our load bullet. We're adding this to our level setup. So I need to go ahead and grab my load bullet. And uh, I can put these down at the bottom. And I'll uh, grab my level setup. So there's my level setup. I'll expand that. There's my load bullet. Expand that. Split them. So inside of level setup at the very beginning, I want to make sure that I hide my ammunition cargo box. So just put that. And that's just to make sure that it's not showing up at the very beginning. And then inside of my load bullet, I move down some. I need to remember anytime the bullet is loaded um, is when the bullet gets shot and you miss the guy, or if you hit the enemy ship. But what I want to do is say if. My ammunition. Let's move up my global variable for ammunition. Is less than or equal to two. Then what I want to do is call show ammunition cargo. Basically, if, if ammo is two or one, then show the ammo cargo box. That allows them to reload. So you can see I've had that in there. Build it and test it. Last part of this is simply adding your, your sound effects. So when you hit the ship and the reload icon, so when I hit the ship, we did that, is when your image bright bullet doo -doo 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 -doo, collides with something, right? And this kind of thing happens whenever you collapse blocks. They're still there, it's just it's a funny quirk with Half Inventor. Let me collapse all these again. So you know it's not from today, it's from the previous. So whenever the image sprite bullet collides with something, it's only colliding with our with our enemy ship. What I want to do is I want to set the source to something. Went to the file I gave you today. And I also want to play that file. I did not upload it, so I need to. You can see it's hit ship that wave. So hit ship that wave. <laughs> Adding my comment for you. Flip this over a little bit. Set sound effects to hit ship. And this one here. So you can see that's that one. And then my reload. Actually, I'll move this guy over down here as well. That way we can have everything. 
my reload. I already have my load bullet. So, same thing here. I'm going to set the sound effect to something. I'm also going to play that. So I have this last part, and I don't have, I did not upload that, and you can see it's here, reload that wave. So with that, These are the codes that we added for our version 6 to be complete. So as always, you can see very bottom, build and test your app, make sure that it's working. Now you should have this ammo cargo box that shows up. Zoom back in for you. This ammo cargo box will show up only when the ammo is less than or equal to the two. So if ammo gets down to two, it's going to show up. If it gets down to one, it's also going to show up. The user has to shake the phone in order for them to reload their ammo cargo box. So go ahead, build and test your app up here. And then obviously on the class page, you have to do your portfolio page for Space Invaders. All right. I'm going in